Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make Two in the final episode of our Sims 4 University. We've been building and recording this university in parts, so if you've missed any of the previous parts where we talked about each of the buildings in detail, then check the video description for links to those. But for now, we just wanted to show the top part of it, where we've done a lot of landscaping and we've also made some small changes to some of the buildings. And we're also going to then get into detail in the basement where we've done a lot of changes. Yeah, a lot of new stuff down below. Not much new stuff if you've watched the other, I think, five videos mm -hmm. for this massive university. But we have got uh, lots of little touches that we're going to show while we also just give a quick tour for those who haven't seen the others what exactly this building is. So this is on a 64 by 64 lot. In Windenburg. It's the biggest lot there is, and we have packed it. It is chock-a-block, as I might say, being been, from England. You, I think you said it every it, time. Every time. <laughs> it's got more and more mm -hmm. full of stuff. Yes. So we're looking at now the front, and we have in the middle of the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. To the left, we have the dormitory there, which is very modern, Scandinavian-inspired. Mm -hmm. To the just behind that, we have a clinic for the little students. This in the middle is the administration building, the heart of the institution. It's the oldest building. So maybe 200 years ago, that was all the university was, was that one building. Yeah. And this is why, by the way, we've got many different styles of architecture in mm -hmm. the campus. We just decided to have the kind of idea that as buildings were added to the campus, they just hired many different architects and used whatever was the style of the time. And also because we wanted the building to be interesting for us and we didn't want to build the same style over and over again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it's just more realistic doing it this way from our experience of colleges. Yeah. Here in the center screen now we have the library, which I imagine being sort of a very 80s style design. It's still very good, but a very 80s style. And here we have, I'm going to say 60s, which <laughs> is the science building. It's got a bit more of that utilitarian feel yeah. because it has to have really thick walls because of all the crazy experiments the students are doing in there. So one of the changes we mentioned here is I built a small fire escape mm -hmm. staircase, which was suggested to us by one of our commenters. Yeah, it's a great idea because Thank we've got you. exits out of there and you definitely need a fire escape. And over here on top of the cafeteria, we've added a small rooftop garden, which was also suggested by another commenter. And I just thought it was actually oh. a really good idea because, you know, maybe they kind of grow their some of their food anyway and yeah. also use it for botanical experiments for the students maybe as well. And the other changes are to the ground. So there's mm -hmm. lots of changes everywhere. You can see right at the front here, we have a sign, which is just explaining a little map of where to get, see all the different buildings in the university, maybe some important notices. Mm -hmm. There's lampposts all around. We've got lots of benches, yep. some signage at different places. And the landscaping has been complete with these fences all the way around the path, these very low walls that divide up the path from the more landscape areas and we've done an awful lot of decoration, floral decoration. Yeah, and some trees. Yeah, so the front here, this has all been newly landscaped with trees. You were in charge of doing the and then building the other side of it, all the gardening, and mm -hmm. I was in charge of doing the rest of it. <laughs> so... I mean, I kind of wanted you to do all of it. Well, you've <laughs> already done I some. I there and did some as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think the key to that, as we've spoken about in other videos, just having lots of textured layers. I think this one down between the, between the clinic and the resident hall is a nice example if we can mm -hmm. get there. Just you've got lots and lots of flowers on top of each other to create this nice wild effect. The same on the other side around the... Well, same in here. That's a bit more formal for the founder of the college and the flag of the college as well. Oh, I would have thought that the statue should be facing the other direction. Oh, uh, I thought it was facing the admin building. No, face like outward. Okay. So that people who are approaching the admin sure. building can... Well, let's do know. it that way. And then we just have lots more landscaping to the right of here, all the way around the admin building, of course. Some lots of textures, blues here, mm -hmm. which took a really long time to do, but I think it looks really nice. Yep. So the key is to have different plants in scattered patterns yep. <laughs> and layer them one on top of the other. So I think that looks pretty good. And we've got hedges all around the side at the front here and to the left and right. But we've also left this big patch of grass in the middle completely untouched because... You do just want some big green space. Yes. And I think that's going to have it somewhere a do not walk on the grass sign. I remember those from my college days. So let's get into the basement. Alrighty. This is Whoa. it. It's super packed. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yeah. yeah. We had comments as well asking us to have like a swim center slash athletic center. If you guys recall, we actually previously had a gym in the bottom of the student dormitory, but we've now made that gym bigger, expanded it so that it can service basically more people from the university. And so we've got lots of machines inside, some decorations as well to make it more of a, um, yeah, a big campus gym. And it's going to be a bit difficult to show how all the pathways and hallways go, but we're going to do our best. To, so off of the gym here, you get into a hallway and through there you can get to the big Olympic size swimming pool. I'm going to say this, that this university, yeah. maybe it doesn't have a football field. It's not <laughs> that competitive for basketball, but they kick butt in swimming. Because we can build a swimming pool. <laughs> exactly. It's like one of the only athletic things we can build in the Sims. But like this is Sims so cool. I love the lanes. Um, yeah. Was that just a... Did you have to do that manually? No, the lanes are built into one of the um, patterns they come, you did it yourself. They, they come as part of like a the pool One features. of the pool types. Yeah. yeah. Things that you can so do. So that's really cool. Pool. You've got uh, diving entry boards on each side. Mm-hmm. No, oh, there's one ladder, but you know... These super yeah, swimmers, they just tons there's of two. Ladders. Okay, no, there's but like these four super ladders. swimmers just jump out of the water when you watch them in the Olympics, which is coming up very soon. There's lots of space mm-hmm. for spectators to watch. Yep. I really like what you've done with the the different patterns on the walls. Yeah, just to keep that aqua feel and the mm-hmm. tiles around the pool. Yeah, as well. and lots of light, and I love the lights over each side, kind of lining up with the lanes. Yeah, that's a really cool touch. So off of that same hallway, servicing both the gym and the swim center are locker rooms of course yeah so we've got girl side and boy (laughs) side basically they can you know sit change their clothes there's toilets on either side and showers showers as well yeah Mm -hmm. and let's see as you walk further down the hallway we have some student club rooms and just fun rooms so we'd previously showed the dance area that was already part of the dorm residence, but now we have a movie theater because we also have the movie stuff pack for the game. Oh, cool. So students can watch either student films or real films. Yeah. Yep. And then over here... This is really impressive. I like the (laughs) cinema, but this I love. This is so creative. This is for the student drama department. Well, I kind of thought maybe... When I was building these club rooms, which we're going to show in a little bit on the left side, I wanted there to be a drama club. But then I was like, if there's a drama club, there should be a stage. And mm-hmm. then I started building this stage. And so I kind of, you know, did stuff with the curtains here and made a stage here. And you can see they're probably doing Romeo and Juliet. That is just so cool how you've done that backdrop there. <laughs> we, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you've done a, you did a theater also in a Sims free play build for a school. Yes. And that was just like amazingly creative as well in terms of how you did it. I think this is exactly the same in terms of showing the level of creativity that was like, wow, I wouldn't have thought of doing that. (laughs) Well, back here, we've got just a place for props and also places for the student performers to get their makeup (laughs) and dress up and stuff like that. Yeah, so they hang up their clothes, they put on the costumes, they do their makeup. Exactly. Okay, so then we've got the three club rooms here. These are music room, just for that. Yep. red? Uh, this is more salmon, orangey kind of, okay. yeah. Um, and then this is for tabletop gaming in here. In green? <laughs> this is sort of a, <laughs> um, what do you call this? Like a pale beige, I would have said. Eggshell, maybe. Oh. So yes. you've got chess and Jenga balls there and some books as well. That's mm-hmm. cool. And darts. And then here is video gaming, because we are video gamers ourselves, so obviously, <laughs> you know... Two things that this university takes seriously, video gaming and swimming. Yeah, so here this you can is do bluish. computer gaming. Mm-hmm. These are uh, like dance dance kind of gaming. And over here is console gaming. Oh, uh, yeah, screen. that makes sense. I was thinking that that was where people could watch the guys behind doing like a <laughs> LAN party gaming. Oh, maybe. They could Good. do that too. Multi-use. I'm sure that Multi-use. they've hooked it all up to yeah. be real nice. So, so then we previously have shown, this is the bottom of the main administrative building up at the yep. center of the campus, mm-hmm. and then this is a big classroom that we've shown there as well. So I've added another classroom here, which backs onto the kitchen from the dining hall, which we've also shown in a previous video. Mm-hmm. And I've also expanded the library basement just uh, to... Yeah, it was only like two, I think, rows before, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, basically... I was just finding there was a lot of empty space and so I just wanted to fill it up and also you know make it more functional mm-hmm. 
And then back over here, I think we had shown this previously as well. This is just a classroom for the science building, yeah. which we had shown in another video. And those stairs right at the bottom, they go up, up to the into the, into the science, science area. Yeah. yeah. So the plan, just if you pop down below just for one more time, mm -hmm. the plan is that from every one of the six buildings up top, five buildings you can't get down from the clinic, from every one of the five main faculty university buildings, mm -hmm. you can get straight down to the basement and then without going upstairs, you can get to any of the other five buildings. Yeah, that's why clinic. I've made all so these So all these corridors, corridors yeah, they all like join that. up, one big yeah. network, you don't need to go. Originally we had like, oh, you had to go through the swimming pool to get to the library. Like, no, no, we need to change this. So we've now got this weird system of corridors underground. I don't know if people would really use that, but I think it's just cool. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we have not yet still let any Sims loose on this property. We're it's worried. <laughs> curr it's currently uh, classified as a library. Lot so, value, 1.4 million simoleons. Yeah. So it's, it's classified as a library, and that's just so that Sims can wander in and out as they please, rather than having it be... I don't know, a residence or something like yeah, that, where restricted. only one family could live So here. it's open to the public. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to do some, well, we're going to do a lot of testing of this campus, mm -hmm. and we're also going to attempt to record a Let's Play based around it, and eventually we will be uploading it to the gallery yeah, we're after not, we do all the testing. Mm -hmm. Specifically, we're not uploading it now because we're really worried about performance because it's just so big. Mm -hmm. I mean, even there's probably like a thousand plants on the just on this ground floor. There's, I don't know how many rooms there are. So we just want to make sure that it does actually perform with a reasonable number of Sims on here before we put it on the gallery. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to every part of these. If you have tuned in, and if you haven't, like we said, check out the previous videos in the video description. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims 4 on the way. Thanks for watching.